Hunter's Pets recently held their annual Christmas party at Bicentennial Park in Homebush. It was a wonderful day for our team to get together and celebrate all the success stories from our program. Owners, foster carers and trainers were all invited along for a catch-up and we spoke to a couple of our many success stories to see how their lives have changed since adopting a greyhound. Today we're at the Greyhounds as Pets Christmas Party out here at Bicentennial Park in, uh, in Sydney. I'm here with Abby, beautiful girl who we adopted about a year ago, and her loving owner Jess. Hi Jess, welcome to the Christmas Party. Thank you. Now I just want to know, obviously she's one of the best dressed here today, inspiration for the costume and uh, is she enjoying wearing it? Um, she's a Christmas fairy <laughs> and she's loving it because she's getting lots of attention something that this little one thrives on. Abby's an extra special girl. She actually came to us as a puppy and uh, was rehomed to Jess as a, as a six month old pup. She's now uh, just nearly two and Jess has done some amazing work with her. She's got some great tricks in her repertoire, which you'll see later. Jess, anyone thinking about getting a greyhound, would you recommend? <laughs> Obviously, she, Abby's still with you, but um, yeah, what can you say about owning a greyhound? They're amazing dogs. When um, obviously being a puppy, she's a little bit more boisterous, but you know she's calm. She sleeps an awful lot. <laughs> she walks great on the lead. She's great socially with other dogs and people. Loves affection. Loves giving cuddles. Amazing dogs. Abby also um, lives with a cat as well, who's quite her uh, doppelganger, we'd say. Same markings and everything. Uh, Abby's a greenhound as well and, and one of the youngest uh, greyhounds to get her green collar as well. So we're very proud of her and, and very grateful that uh, Jess and Abby are back here today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're here today with Fiona and her three beautiful greyhounds, all adopted from Greyhounds as Pets. Uh, Brandy was the first addition to the family, very closely followed by Paige. And then about a year later, we've got big buff head Herman here. What can you say about having a greyhound as a pet or three? How's the, uh, the transition from one through to three worked for you? Um, I think that for us, the one to two transition was very easy. Um, we found that there was actually less work because Brandy was better off with a little friend rather than with um, by herself. And then um, we picked very carefully number three and Herman joined in and he's just divine. So he has been absolutely no work either. So for us, I suppose the biggest jump from was going from no dogs at all to two dogs. <laughs> and then um, it, all, it was all very easy after that. I think once you get above two, you probably just stop counting and start just enjoying it. So, and certainly that's what we do. And uh, you do a bit of therapy work with Brandy. Tell us a bit about that. So Brandy um, is it? Come here. <laughs> Paige, Paige isn't one for cameras. Um, Brandy comes out with me. She works as a, she's a certified therapy dog, so she comes out and visit, uh, visits um, hospitals and nursing homes with me. Um, just visits um, various places. So she has a special harness that she knows that you know when she gets that on, she's got to behave particularly well. Um, and goes out and just visits people who miss their own dogs and who have been a long time in hospital. And I think that that's something she really enjoys. She really enjoys the attention and the love and certainly people love seeing her. And because she's a bit bigger, she's actually a lot easier for people in wheelchairs and beds to actually reach rather than having something which is a bit too low. So she loves it. And we're very, very proud of Brandy and her achievements and, and Fiona for doing all the conditioning work with her and the other two as well. What would you say to anyone thinking about getting a greyhound, take the plunge, take the plunge three times? <laughs> I think definitely consider them. I think that people look at me walking the three of them and they say I've got my hands full and I, I often look at them and they've got one dog and it's often spinning on the end of the leash. <laughs> and um, I think my dogs are less, less work. So I think if you're going to get a dog, um, a greyhound's an excellent breed to try. They're not as much work as you'd think. They don't smell, they're clean. They're great family dogs, they're wonderful with children. I think that they're just really worth considering. Hey Poodle, come here gorgeous. <laughs> um, except if you get a high maintenance one. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit special is Paige, but, but we, uh, we love them all. Yeah. Thank you very much, Fee. And uh, Brandy, Paige and Herman.